Wow. The excitement, the thrills, the world of Baltimore Comic Con. We are here in Baltimore, Maryland with some of the greatest comic book fans in the world. But we're not going to talk about comic books today. We're going to talk about Mr. Lobo. As we explore Mr. Lobo does, Mr. Lobo does. We've done a lot of these now. Bestow TV has, uh, we've done what, I don't know, 40, 50, 60 of these, I think, are in the archive. Mr. Lobo hopefully is going to find a home for his new comic book, Bizarre Dimensions, number one. I mean, it's sure to be a collector's item. It's, it's signed by your horror host, Mr. Lobo, uh, and it's imported from England. I mean, there's a lot of pretentious dweebs here who are real hot on, you know, English stuff. We could probably get a few in here. I think they would probably take a few hundred off our hands here at the Isle of Comics. Uh, I'll talk to uh, Tracy and Joe, and uh, we'll try our luck, shall we? Joe, you've got a great shop here. I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. I noticed that there, there's, a, there's a key issue that, that I really think uh, you should have on display here at the store. Do you, do you have any idea what I'm talking about? Amazing Fantasy 15, is it? No, no, not that one. Okay, uh, maybe like a Detective Comics uh, 27 with uh, Batman? No, that's, that's not what I'm thinking of. No. This, is, okay. this is a really important comic book that I, I think that okay. any respectable comic book store should, should have sure, on, their, yeah. on, their, on their wall of fame. Yeah, what, what, what are we talking about here? What, what, what book are you referring to? Bizarre Dimensions, number one, signed by Mr. Lobo, published by uh, Wrench Productions in the UK. Really? It's the first issue. It's a collect soon to be collector's item. Oh, okay. That's great. So you're going to put it up there? Maybe, uh, I don't know. No, no, no. I'll, I'll make room later, maybe. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Maybe you could bag it and board it. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Joe. Yeah. Sounds like it's a great show. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm glad that, that you think it's a great show and that from what you've heard, it seems like it's a great show. Exactly. Now, not all of you can be a computer wizard like Mr. Lobo. Uh, you know, a lot of arguments start on the internet, but very few arguments finish on the internet. It's a confusing, scary place. And, uh, you know, I'm going to share some of my knowledge with you and help you sort it out as Mr. Lobo explains the true meaning of internet abbreviation. LOL, you know, you see this a lot, you know, a lot of times something funny happens or a cat falls off a table in a video and you see this a lot, LOL, LOL, LOL. And what does LOL really mean? You know, uh, we used to think it was a caveman for laughing out loud. But really, it means lose my lunch. There's no M in there. See, that's how confusing it is. They didn't even put an M in it. Peel off underpants. WWJD stands for watch out for juvenile delinquents, which I don't know. There's two W's in there, and so it's really confusing. That's why a lot of people don't get that one. You would see that, you know, if you're in a, a place where young toughs want to hang out, you know, like a chat room about switchblades and hair oil. ROFL is the uh, Royal Air Force acronym. PBJ, there's a lot of this on the internet. It's um, pathetic butt jokes. You know, I don't know if it's just a signal that a pathetic butt joke is coming or if it's just a pathetic, butt, or insert your own pathetic butt joke here, but uh, that's what PBJ is, pathetic butt jokes. AFK, AFK is used a lot in Turkish cooking. It means uh, almost my kebab. So you, uh, you grab something and you eat it and it, it's not your kebab, it's almost your kebab. 
OMGs are those little funny faces that you see of like little happy faces and things. OMG WTF is just explaining a little more. It's an OMG with the face. That's what the WTF is, with the face. So if you say something and then you say it with the face at the end. Some of them don't have a face. Like if you have the little pile of ice cream or the, uh, you know, popsicle stick or the, the pineapple, you know, those ones don't have a face. So the OMG with the face are like the ones that are actually faces. Bring your buddy. Oh, Mr. Lobo knows this one. Be right back away from keyboard, rolling on the floor, laughing my ass off and getting back up to type. Maybe something else would be good to see. Posters. I'm looking around for the vintage stuff. Vintage stuff. Me too. Me yeah. too. I'm trying to find. Remember you know, the monster cereal characters, the mascots? You know, there's Frankenberry and Count Chocula. Well, I'm looking for Fruit Brute. Okay. Fruit Brute. He's about this tall. He's brown. I think he's got orange and white stripes. Right. Have you seen one? Does anybody have one? You know what? I think Penny Dreadful might have one. Penny has one? Yes, really? I think so. Thank I think you. I saw one. Sure. Thank you, Dave. All right. Nice really to see you, buddy. We'll talk okay. later. Okay. You know, I, I've been looking for something all day here at this convention, Penny, and uh, I think you've got it. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, Penny, uh, can I buy this? I'm, I'm going to buy this fruit fruit, okay? Oh, <laughs> fruit fruit, good old fruit fruit. He's, uh, he's actually uh, not for sale. He's just, uh, just a little decorative item we have here on the table. <laughs> Penny, Penny, you're hilarious. You're hilarious. Not for sale. Come on, we're at a, we're at a show here. <laughs> Mr. Lobo, <laughs> come on, this brings the kids over to the table. Who doesn't love fruit fruit? He's uh, great. Penny, kids don't remember fruit fruit. He was discontinued in 1970. The kids don't really care about uh, uh, Remember, they, they brought him back a couple of years ago with Yummy Mummy. Remember, they, they brought them back. Everybody loves them. Oh, no, fruit, no. Fruit. I, uh, I'll see you later, Penny. I love you, Fruit Brute. No one will ever take you away from me. Thanks for coming on the, thank you for coming on the program, Daredevil. And thank you for joining us for Mr. Lobo Does, Mr. Lobo Does. Chubby Bunny Championship Challenge of Death. At this time, I would like to officially thank all of our contestants. They are donating their saliva to charity tonight for children born without salivary glands. A noble cause indeed. At this time, Mr. Lobo would like to explain the rules of Championship Chubby Bunny. The game is an... That is how the game is played. So if everyone understands the rules, as I've explained them, and it seems like you do, this is stupid. <laughs> <laughs>